Well, it has been a year since live music venues went dark, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And earlier this month, state officials gave indoor concerts with limited capacity the green light to reopen. Oh, the joy in my heart when I heard that news. <laughs> Our Amy Paprop joins us to share the story of one performer who took the year hiatus to focus on her own health. She looked inward. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, girl. Good morning. Good morning, guys. You know, I can't wait to see a concert, too. And performers are just as eager to hit the stage. The Pussycat Dolls are one of the many acts ready to hit the road in 2020, only to have those shows canceled due to COVID. The Dolls' highly anticipated reunion tour came to a halt before it even got started. But it gave the fiery redhead of the group, Karmit Bahar, a chance to take a much-needed break. Some of us don't sit still unless we're forced to. That was certainly the case for performer Karmit Bahar. Ever since she was a little girl with big dreams, she's been moving and grooving thanks to her mother packing her schedule. She completely engulfed me in culture and art and music and gymnastics and dance. And I mean, there wasn't, I, I didn't have any free time. It all paid off. Carmeet has had much success dancing for everyone from Beyonce to Janet Jackson and gained notoriety as a member of the multi-platinum group, the Pussycat Dolls. Last April, the singer was set to hit the road on a reunion tour with the Dolls, but COVID-19 derailed those plans. We were so pumped. We'd done about six months of promo tour with the new song, React, and, you know, getting our whole just mojo back and our synchronicity was so awesome. And then just to be cut short was, was devastating, honestly. The stillness of the shutdown gave Carmeet a chance to look inward and she realized something was off. I had an onset of tinnitus that came out of nowhere that kind of, I think, was from maybe stress. The constant ringing in her ears was intensified by the state of the world. More so than anything, the pandemic brought on fear, I think, for everybody, not knowing what it is, information changing all the time. And so how do you bring it back to where you can still feel grounded, you know, in your body? Because everybody was just like, ah! it felt like you're flailing. She went on a wellness journey to regain control. I kind of went on a backward scavenger hunt with integrative doctors and found out that I had an abscess under my root canal that I didn't know about, I didn't have pain. And it was shocking because I'm pretty on top of my health and whatnot. And they say it's very common that people can have problems with their teeth or low grade infections that can actually affect your body. She now calls tinnitus a blessing in disguise. I'm so grateful for it now because it just really brought me to a new space. And, and hopefully as a whole, collectively, we've all turned the corner. And at least we're on the new, heading towards the new normal, if you will. <laughs> as we move toward that new normal, Carmeet has launched a wellness box to help others find their center. But it came off of the heels of me just wanting to share the tools that I needed for myself, that I used, that, that I felt other people could kind of gravitate towards. Wellness is just such an important part of your everyday mental, emotional, and physical state. And it's all connected. But now more than ever, with all the things that are going on in the world, it's really important to focus on brain health and your mental state. Carmeet says it doesn't take a health crisis to slow down and appreciate the quiet moments. So cute. Carmeet actually has her daughter pull an affirmation card for each one of those grace and gratitude boxes, which are available for a one-time purchase or a seasonal subscription. You can go to therealcarmeet.com and click on grace and gratitude store for more information on how to order. Oh, I we love this love so much. That. Yeah. And the personal <laughs> touch with her daughter pulling that intention card. How beautiful is that? So have the Pussycat Dolls rescheduled their tour, Amy? <laughs> uh. We want to know. I wish I had good news about this. Carmi told me they will follow through with the world tour, but they don't have that booked just yet. Hopefully later this year, maybe in the fall. So stay tuned for updates. But I do have a little good news to tide fans over for a while. Carmi has a brand new single out. It's called It's Time. The lyrics are so poignant and really, really timely for this time period. And it's such just a fun summer jam. The video premieres today. Check that out on her YouTube channel. It's going live at 11 a.m. YouTube.com slash The Real Carmi. Ah, we'll check that out. Appointment viewing. No, I love a good groove, always. Yes. Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Amy. Wouldn't be Tuesday without you. <laughs> we'll be back.